Hi everyone, welcome to victoriapiking.com and today I'm going to show you how to make perfect lamp curry with um, amazing coconut uh, milk and just much much better than in restaurants. So I hope you enjoy the idea and stay tuned. In the chopper chop three garlic cloves, onion, pretty big one onion, like medium to big size, and a handful of cilantro. Now I'm using stalks of cilantro, the leaves I'm going to use later, and it gives a lot of flavor, especially if you put it, placing it in the beginning of the cooking time. It's much better than the leaves. They are less delicate and they uh, permeate all the food with this wonderful uh, coriander flavor. So I'm going to, ch to chop it out of the side. To the skillet, add ghee or, uh, or uh, avocado oil. And this ghee, as you see, made from grass-fed cows, it's very nice ghee, very healthy to cook with. Ghee, if you don't know, this is clarified butter and it's very healthy to cook with this one but if you don't have it and it's hard to come by especially the grass fed avocado will uh, do it you see the the insane color on it the yellow color it's just amazing now add your vegetables in those ones And add curry leaves. Now, it's pretty hard to come by those leaves. They're very tender and they're very tasty. And you can eat them whole. So, just as you see, about two tablespoons or so of those leaves goes in. If, if you can come up uh, by those, you can always use uh, two to three bay leaves. But make sure to take the bay leaves out after everything is cooked. Those you can eat. Mix it in the oil and let them sauté for, uh, I don't know, three, four, five minutes. They smell amazing. When onion and uh, curry leaves started to caramelize, as you see here, add your meat. Now, I love the meat chopped pretty fine. At this point, add a little bit of spices. And you have to remember this is still on high heat, okay? So turmeric, classical spice to make everything yellow. Cardamom. I love cardamom. Our masala or garam masala, it depends what you have in your house. I have our masala, this is a pretty good blend of spices. Cardamom pod, two. Just the seeds, small seeds inside. Like so. Yeah. A bit of cinnamon this is true cinnamon like dark cinnamon there is two kinds of cinnamon this is the true cinnamon that uh, calls true cinnamon and it's very dark a little bit different uh, flavor but you can use uh, the regular cinnamon not a problem salt Himalayan pink salt as usual um, black pepper And mix all together. At this point, chili flakes goes in. I love a lot of them. You can add um, chili, fresh chili, but I don't have fresh chili, so I'm adding just uh, sweet pepper. But I would recommend use sweet pepper mixed with the chili pepper in here. A bit of fenugreek, always good idea. 
just again don't overdo with the fenugreek otherwise it can be pretty potent and in my mind fenugreek this is what gives the true indian aroma to the dish i love this uh, smell it's a little bit potent but it's just amazing that's how you know that you're coming to the indian restaurant i think fenugreek is represent uh, this smell with all the other uh, spice ginger like so to add some thickness add flour i'm using chickpea flour and this is pretty classical for the people to use chickpea flour so i'm adding it a little bit in the oil like so just two tablespoons that's enough and work it in the oil here add a little bit more oil if you need or give like me it's just wonderful and work it in very important thing when you use chickpea flour it must not be uh, raw because the raw flavor of the chickpea flour has very strong aftertaste and it's not really nice to cook uh, to feel this so just let it heat thoroughly and then cover it with water and let it cook for another at least 30 to 40 minutes or until the meat is absolutely tender and falling apart forgot to mention about two tablespoons of tomato paste goes in mix it in very well as well see how thick it is and the bubbles started to form on top those bubbles then hold shape by the way don't forget to mix it occasionally otherwise it will stick to you and it's very thick and beautiful i'm adding coconut milk this is organic coconut milk and this, this is almost like cream so this is half of this jar goes in and pretty much let it warm up and that's it it's done as you see it's wonderful and smells su superb okay i've tried it and i decided to add all of the jar in the end i want it very coconutty like so when it comes again to the boil that's it it's done at this point before you serve top it with cilantro leaves and um, coconut shreds those are unsweetened coconut shreds but they are amazing just to showcase that you have coconut inside and voila it's wonderful you see how pretty it is and wonderful and fragrant and you see the thickness of the sauce and as you know i'm not sure you do know but actually curry means sauce it's not mean the spice or spice uh, mix that you buy in store curry actually means sauce garam masala this is the normal like the the, the accurate uh, name for the spice for this uh, blend uh, spice blend and you have tons uh, tons of different spice blends that they are garam masala or different masalas so let's try it and as you see this is what the beauty how thick and wonderful it is and as you see it's gluten free because i use chickpea flour so it's very nice to serve with rice or i don't know with something even with with noodles but shh, don't tell indian that i love noodles with this one mm, mm, mm. spicy fragrant amazing like absolutely amazing so i hope you enjoy the idea and you give it a go and don't forget to subscribe write me a comment thumbs up me and cheers victoria love you all see you next time bye please support my channel by visiting my shops the links are in description box below you will find the recipes for halloween holidays and just for fun we have kids books 
and game as well. Thank you for uh, supporting me and my channel. Love you all. See you next time. Bye!